from the police. The Plateau Command this time has arrested two suspects linked with the murder of a lecturer of the University of Joss, Dr. Nandi Dwenkart. The Plateau State Commissioner Edward Ibuka, while parading the suspects along with other criminals in Joss, the state capital, says they were arrested following a joint collaboration between the Department of State Services and the Nigerian Police Force. Our correspondent Amadine Uyi tells us more. The gruesome mother of Dr. Nandi Drenkat, a doctor of economics at the University of Joss on May the 16th, had shocked many residents in the university community and Plateau State. Most people really loved Drenkat because Drenkat, actually, he is a personal friend. He was one of these guys that could just show up at any point in time, whether he knows you or doesn't, and warm your life up. Nobody would imagine that someone like that would be killed by anybody. And so it has been a very big weight on the shoulders of almost everybody. Reports claim that the gunman had also kidnapped his seven-year-old daughter, Johanan, demanding a ransom of about 10 million naira. She was later rescued less than 24 hours by gallant police personnel of the Plateau State Police Command after arresting one of the kidnappers. However, after extensive intelligence and investigation, the police command says via a joint collaboration with the Department of State Services, it has recorded a major breakthrough. In what I believe will be a case study in synergy between security agencies, the Department of State Security in Plateau State followed up uh, this uh, case made by the police and the operatives of DSS in Plateau State were able to track down two other members of this notorious gang of kidnappers who had escaped the gun battle with the police with bullet wounds. Some of Dr. Drenkard's colleagues say the arrest is worthy of commendation. Honestly, it's a breath of fresh air. The university community is so excited. The news is all over our different uh, social media platforms, and if you see the response, it's quite overwhelming. The Nigerian police has impressed me once more. I think Nigerian police is such a very intelligent unit of our own uh, law enforcement. The Commissioner of Police, Edward Ibuka, also paraded an army impersonator who was arrested by personnel of the Nigerian military in Plateau State dressed in military fatigues. On the 18th of this month, May 2020, at about 0800 hours, operatives of Sector 6 of the Operation Safe Heaven arrested one John Nancy Ladon of Joro area in just south local government area, Plateau State, dressed in an Army Captain full desert camouflage uniform, driving an Army green colored Pojo model 206. Mr. Igbuka, while parading other suspects apprehended by the state police command, warned criminals on the plateau to shun crime, saying the police will not relent in efforts to restore peace to the state. He urged residents to partner with the state police command in the area of information sharing. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.